La consulta del doctor Escarabajo, dígame. La consulta del doctor Escarabajo. 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 Um, I'm really proud that I've been able to tour with so many amazing people and I've gotten a lot, a lot farther in my career um, than a lot of people that are pursuing music. So that is satisfactory. It's, it's, a, it's nice to think on that when I start to get down on myself for not achieving all the goals that I want to achieve. But ultimately, if I could have anything, I'd like to tour as Jesse Wagner by for just for Jesse Wagner not Jesse Wagner uh, background singer for Lenny Kravitz or Duran Duran or Steve Van Zandt or whoever I, I just want to be able to tour on my name Jesse Wagner um, I think if I could do that at some point then I, I, I would be really satisfied with my career I feel like I reached a certain goal um, that I've been striving for, but yeah, it, I, it's been a, a wonderful journey uh, so far, and um, I am really proud to have gotten to to sing on these um, these huge stages with well recognized and loved people. I needed to to uh, put out shoes dropping because I went through a really traumatic experience a few years back, and that's where a few of these songs came from. Um, and I was having a hard time processing what I was going through. Uh, so the best thing for me to do um, as a songwriter is to is to write down what I was feeling and all the emotions and the pain. And I, I got a few really great songs, well, great to me, <laughs> in the sense that I was able to, to get out what I was feeling. Um, and I sat on that for a couple of years, even though I had in the back of my mind that I wanted to do a more acoustic album. I have done other albums in the past with my group, Army and the Underdog, but that was very rock-oriented. This new project is kind of a, a different direction for me um, because because the songs that I wrote were so intimate and um, personal. I wanted the the music to be a little bit more stripped down than what I usually do. And uh, uh, once I finally got the momentum going to 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 say yes, I'm going to put these these uh, songs out, then. I worked like hell <laughs> in between touring uh, to to finish the record. I would go on tour, come home for a month or less, and spend the entire time in the studio if I could, and then go back on on tour and then come back and, and record again. So it was it was like a little over a year to finally get it all done. Um, it was somewhat of a grueling process because there was no break, there was no rest, but. Um, I needed to get those songs out. I needed to, to get the project done, and I'm really proud of how it came out. It's it's a new sound for me. It's it's unusual. It's kind of schizophrenic, <laughs> but that's who I am as an artist. <laughs> I don't know if there is an artist similar to me. I feel like I'm I'm kind of a, a hodgepodge artist, which I mean, I, I, I take a little bit from all these different genres and create um, uh, a sound that's it's kind of, I don't want to say all over the place, but it, it, it incorporates 
all different kind of elements. I have country, I have pop, I have rock, I have soul, I have all of these these little bits um, on this record that are represented, and I'm I'm really proud of that because there aren't a lot of artists that take that chance. We, we're kind of put in a box. Um, and, and fortunately, Steve Van Zandt, who uh, took a chance on me by um, signing me to his label, Wicked Cool, decided he liked the fact that I was a little bit schizophrenic. He said, you know what, I don't know what this is, but I like it. And to me, <laughs> to me that was the biggest compliment. Um, so, I, you know, I think I'm, I'm different from other artists simply because um, I, I don't think I can necessarily be put in one kind of box. I think I, I check off many boxes. How did I get here? Maybe I'll keep this going for a year. Um, my target expectations for this album. Um, so far, it, it's been really well received. In, 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 you never know what to expect when you put something out. Are people going to like it? Are people going to make fun of it? Are people not going to get it? Um, and so far, people have liked the, the few songs I've put out. And to me, that already exceeded expectations. <laughs> um, because you don't know what people are going to be drawn to. Um, the exciting thing about this is like it's... Uh, one of my singles is now available in Japan. That's already exceeded my expectations. You know, it's it's becoming like this worldwide thing. Um, and uh, if if it gets to the point where it's popular enough where I can tour from this album, then I'll be over the moon. That's that's all I want. I, I just want to be able to to tour with this record. Well, how will the concerts be? The concerts will be, uh, I guess, a mixture of all kind of different people. <laughs> um, I, I, I hope people of all kinds will will come and, and check it out. Um, I, I feel like I'm a pretty lively performer, so they'll definitely get, you know, they'll feel my energy. I, I'm not a person that likes to stand still on stage, so I, I plan to put together um, a show that's, uh, really energetic and fun, uh, even though some of the songs are a little more macabre and um, sad. Um, but I'm definitely going to bring a lot of energy, a lot of uh, um, movement, and um, and I hope that whoever comes to see it feels that and wants to move with me. Um, so it, it's just going to be a wide variety of tunes and... and uh, um, Wild crazy fun. <laughs> you got me feeling like a school girl waiting for your call. So easy to fall in love with you. Can't wait to say I do. My future plans. Uh, well, I have then uh, a few more singles coming out this year before the album drops October 9th. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm... If you follow me on social media, I'm doing a lot of live streams. Um, so that's a way to see me perform the music. Uh, and hopefully when, when the pandemic uh, is, is more contained, uh, I'll be able to tour and uh, take the music with me uh, on the road. I'd love to go to Europe. Um, I'd love to go to, to Australia. I'd love to go to Japan. I'd love to go anywhere where uh, they would have me. <laughs> um, but right now, you can see, um, you know, you follow my, my social media. Um, I have a couple of live streams coming up. I have one um, this month, August 31st, and I have another one uh, September 10th. Uh, currently, and and there's some more in the works later for the year. But if you want to check out stuff that's coming up relatively soon, um, yeah, just follow my social media, and you can see those live stream shows and kind of get a taste of what a concert would be like. I don't think 
the world will be seeing after this pandemic. It can't be. Um, it w- we have to learn from our mistakes. Uh, unfortunately, we as a human <laughs> species has a tendency to um, to repeat the same uh, mistakes. But I hope uh, I hope we do gain some kind of knowledge on how to protect ourselves from these kind of situations or how to deal with it better when um something like this presents itself um but this situation has forever altered uh who we are so uh, we can't go back to to who we were um we have to we have to evolve we have to learn um but i do hope I hope things will will be for the better. I hope um, we learn how to um, be healthier and protect ourselves a little bit better. Um, That's my hope. Again, (laughs) you know, we humans have a tendency to to fall into bad habits. But, you know, there's there's so much of this world that we need to to wake up and 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 change. And I, I think the pandemic as horrific as it has been is somewhat of a wake-up call to to say hey we're not doing things right we got to make some changes here so i do hope things will change for the better um or that we'll learn and and continue to make things better because we are already forever changed I'd like to thank Hysterica Grabaciones for doing this wonderful interview with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And if anybody out there is interested in learning more about me and my music, you can check out my website, www.jessiewagnerofficial.com. And it has links to all my social media and to information about upcoming releases and um, and there's also some merch (laughs) so thank you guys again for granting me this interview and i hope you guys check out the music take care